All right, I'm Brandon, and today we're gonna to be installing the Hypertech inline speedometer calibrator. This is on a Ford 2021 F-150, and this is part number 730125. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this middle bezel piece. There's gonna be a few clips on top and a couple on the sides. Using a plastic tool, just work your way around. like that. All right. Once you remove that piece, the next we need to remove this trim going all the way the full length of the dash. It may help to adjust the, pull the steering wheel out and down. Once you've gotten that out, just work your way across. All right, the start button will have a cable plugged into it. Go ahead and just remove that with the clip. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this uh, trim piece beneath the steering wheel. All right, you don't have to fully remove the part. Just go ahead, you got a couple tabs on the right side. And then, on the left and then you can just leave it hanging. Next part we're gonna remove is this trim piece right here. For that, it's easiest to start on the side and then just work your way across and then do the same for the top. All right, now this truck you can use a seven millimeter we're gonna go ahead and release these three screws holding on the dash bezel. All right, we got two more screws on the left side. All right, next thing you wanna do is this top cover on the steering wheel column. It's using a plastic tool. Go ahead and just pop it up. like that. Now we're ready to remove this piece. There's two tabs on the side and then this kind of just clips in at the top. So remove these two tabs first on the side. It can be a little tricky. It's one. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. You can just pull out as well. You don't need a tool on the right if you'd like. From there, kind of pull out as you put the tool in. You're now ready to remove the cluster. There's four screws holding it in. All right, now that the screws are out, you want to carefully remove this without scratching the front. Your cable should be long enough. You can just set it right up on the dash. All right, there's two connectors on the back side. The one you're gonna to wanna to unplug is the bigger one. Unplug just like that. 
All right, now before you before you plug this in, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have updated this in the computer, that you've put in the correct tire size, your correct vehicle, um, all that information. Once you've done that and downloaded it to the device, you can go ahead and connect. All right, where the other plug went to the back of the bezel. Just like that. You're gonna to wanna to use the included zip ties um, to secure the module in place. Once you've done that, you can put the cluster back in. And before you tighten it down completely, you wanna make sure you push it in all the way. All right, now before you put the dash completely back together, it's recommended that you go ahead and take it for a test drive. Just validate that your numbers are correct, your scalar factor is correct, and that you got everything downloaded correctly. Uh, however, before you're gonna be able to start your vehicle, you will need to put this trim piece on with the button. So go ahead and just plug it back in. Pop the bezel on at least part way. So after you verify the results, go ahead and remove that bezel trim back off and we'll go ahead and put the rest of the truck back together. So for the cluster bezel, go ahead and put this top part in first, just push it in with your thumbs. Snap the left side and the right. The steering column cover just snaps right in. All right, the next thing you want to do is put in the three screws holding the cluster bezel in place. All right, now go ahead and snap the trim underneath the steering column back into place. Okay. All right, the next piece you're going to put on is the left bezel cover. Go ahead and plug in your ignition switch. And you can just push the trim right back into place. It might be helpful to line up the middle and work your way left and right. Bezel around the radio. There you go, you've now reinstalled the unit, put the dash back together, and you are done.